The big new feature in Composite Brush 1.6 is this new matte type, Soft 1.6, which in short, makes all the other matte types obsolete. Just click and drag over the color you want to remove, all click and drag over the colors you want to preserve, and this new matte type should create a better color and edge separation than anything we've done in the past, regardless of what the image is. For those of you who have watched our tutorials, you may recognize some of these images, and I just want to go through and point out that Soft 1.6 eliminates the need for different layers with different matte types. We had previously shown this shot where the background is a very similar color to the foreground using the hard matte type, but again, Soft 1.6 gets superior results even on a shot that has a lot of hard edges. In this previous tutorial, we had showed you how to use several instances of composite brush to get a separate key for both the finger and the reflection, but using Soft 1.6, composite brush can figure out both with just one instance. The new matte type is a little bit slower than real time, but still overall pretty quick when you press optimize and soften. For some fair performance perspective, this shot is 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames a second, and running on my laptop, which has an i9 and an Nvidia 2060 mobile card. It's not quite as fast as our old modes, but still quick enough that it shouldn't hold you back. Thanks for watching. I would recommend everyone who has Composite Brush download Composite Brush 1.6 and start exclusively using the Soft 1.6 mode. This is a free update for all existing users. Get it now at aescripts.com slash composite brush.